So I'm gonna make a quick update on battery upgrades on OSET bikes. I got a bunch of these batteries off eBay. They're used K2 lithium iron phosphate batteries. Uh, it's a 24 volt, 10 amp hour battery. And so this is an older OSET 16. I think the newer ones are 36 volt. But this battery works pretty good for this. Um, at like two and a half hour ride time, these batteries new are like 350 American. I got them used for 100 bucks, 115. Um, and I put in um, a solar breaker that is it gonna focus um, because the old um, blade style fuses were just melting. <clears throat> they couldn't handle the amperage. They wouldn't blow the fuse, but the housing would melt and then the connections would not be good. Um, since it's an older bike, it just had the key underneath and no kill switch. So I found some kill switches, put a few kill switches on them. Also some battery capacity meters, which are programmable to a point. Um, gives a voltage, which is a really good thing and percentage. So with these, um, you can program them for lithium batteries, lithium iron phosphate, lead acid. Can't program the amp hour size, but still better than nothing. So we find around when it gets to 55%, that's actual voltage cutoff on the battery and that's dead. But we're getting about two to two and a half hours depending on the riding. If it's like kind of tight technical trails where you're not wide open throttle most of the time, then you're getting two and a half. If we get onto some open trails where they're just like open throttle a lot, then of course it kills it a lot faster. And so <clears throat> these are the batteries. I open these ones up because you can't put these ones in series, but if you uh, disconnect the BMS, which is right here, and bypass the BMS just like that because they're usually on these studs and just bypass them here then it works without the BMS and you can put them in series but you don't get the protection but if you have a battery meter like that one <coughs> then um, you don't have the issues with it so it's not gonna be an issue you're not if you know you're at 50% then you head home or you head home before that so yeah and so I put them on this also bypass the old chargers and put these on um, directly to the battery because on the OSET you plug it in here um, and it goes through all the controller and everything which it doesn't need to do and it can kind of send off mixed messages and stuff um, but yeah, those batteries were a good deal. I bought like four of them and uh, they're working out great. You know, they're <clears throat> this old one, there was two of those. Um, now the one battery that's in there is half the weight of this one battery where there was two of those before. So cut down on weight a lot, longer ride time, just everything about it is so much better. So, yeah, and that was a big improvement because those blade fuses just can't handle, uh, you know, the amperage that these put out for long periods of time, too. But, uh, yeah, that's all. Good upgrade. These are also going to get some hydraulic brakes soon. And um, then they'll be ready to go some more. All right.